guys how's it going uh, good morning uh, in today's video uh, what I want to do is uh, finish boxing in the frame rails under the cab area get that all cleaned up uh, I've got to hack away at the cab a little bit firewall uh, make clearance for the transmission stuff like that <clears throat> finish cleaning up the frame rails pretty good and stuff you know uh, sweep up a bit get the cab flip back down where it's supposed to be sitting and then I can check on my uh, engine clearances and tranny clearances and all that stuff. And that opens up the uh, area behind the cab under the box. Uh, I've got to box all the rest of that frame rail. Um, you know, I want to get this, this diff in place. Uh, so there's a bunch of mocking up and stuff to do for that. And uh, a lot of hacking and cutting to get the old rear end and stuff out of there. So we're going to do that. Um, one other thing, new subscribers, thanks again, appreciate it. Uh, tell a chum, tell a buddy, spread the word, and uh, yeah, it's uh, going going good. So uh, we're going to get after all that stuff, and uh, we might as well just get to it right now. Okay, so I had some pieces and bits laying around, so I kind of put this uh, rear end together. This center section is not the one I'm using. But uh, it'll do for now for mock-up. The, the one I am using is uh, up in the corner behind, up against the wall or behind the truck. And I don't feel like wrestling that out right now. It's not necessary. Anyway, we'll put this in for mock-up. Uh, that'll figure out or help me figure out where the uh, spring pads are going to go. I know they're moving inward towards the center of the, of the diff. And, uh, you know, I even have axles in there. So uh, we can put wheels on it and uh, move it around after it's in. So yeah, we main, maintain mobility on the truck. Uh, but before I do that, my first order of business will be to uh, weld in these boxing plates. I made the two of them up to finish up the frame rails under the cab area. Um, we'll get the running board bracket off. Um, also, label these things because uh, they're not all identical. They each have their own uh, their own deal going on. So you got to label them so you know where to put them back after. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut that another hunk off that torque tube. That thing's been a pain in the ass since I started this job. Um, so <laughs> it's in my way again. But anyway, I'll cut off another foot and a half of that thing so I can get in there. Uh, that cross member is just just sitting in there, so that'll just drop out. Uh, we'll clean up the inside of the frame rails first and give it a shot of that uh, rust converter and weld the plates in. And then that way I can tilt the cab back down onto its floor. And uh, that gives me all wide open area under the box section. So that's where I'm at. And uh, so I'm going to burn these things in here uh, real quick and uh, we'll come back after. Okay, so I finished boxing it in uh, here and here, and uh, it looks pretty good. <clears throat> so we're up to the rear mounts of the cab. I'm going to leave these in place because uh, it's the only <laughs> the only point of reference I have when I go to rebuild this floor if I end up doing this one or, or getting a donor. So these holes are intact, and so are the two on the other side. So like I say, that's the only point of reference I got because up here it is pretty much gone. Um, I'm also going to have to cut this crap out of here to make room for the uh, uh, transmission because the transmission is higher than the frame rail so that'll be in the way <clears throat> also I'm going to I've cleared off a little bit of the paint here I'm going to weld the door shut for now uh, <clears throat> I'm just afraid this thing's going to you know fold up like a beer can <laughs> when I drop it back down. So uh, I'm going to get that done and then uh, I'll set up the winch and uh, see if I can pull the sucker back down in its normal normal position. So that's where I'm at. Okay, so here we are. I uh, hacked out an area for the uh, transmission. Hopefully it's big enough. Um, you know, I, I'm going... I also, <laughs> also welded in... Uh, Scabbed in a piece there. I, I don't know if it's going to hold or not, but 
it's got to be better than it was. I mean, this thing here was was moving in like there was nothing holding it. Uh, and I packed my door shut there and down here. So hopefully this thing all holds together when I uh, attach the winch to it and try and pull her over. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit, sweep up and stuff first and uh, hook up the winch and uh, and uh, pull the sucker back down. So uh, I'm probably going to lay a, maybe a 6x6 six six or something across here just in case I didn't clearance enough for the transmission. I can always hack out a little bit more if I need to. So uh, yeah, I'm going to sweep up and I'll uh, be back when I have the winch hooked up. Okay, so swept up, this 6x6, that might end up just being a pain in the ass, but we'll see. Uh, cable is hooked up, and, uh, you know, got my winch, winch set up, and uh, so we're going to try and pull it over. Um, I'm going to set this up on a on a tripod and uh, show you how this goes, and hopefully we don't have a, a major disaster, but uh, I, I think we'll be all right. Okay, well, we'll just get this so far and then we'll manhandle it down. See how it goes. Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how to do some measuring to see if I've got enough clearance here for my uh, transmission. It looks real close. I think we might be okay. But, uh, yeah, we'll check it out and uh, get her down all the way. And that's where I'm at. Okay, so I uh, wrestled that 6x6 six six out of there. Uh, I did cheat. I used my uh, engine hoist and lifted the body up again. <laughs> Just slid it out and then dropped it down nice and gentle. Uh, I'm going to have to open up that transmission mount or opening a little bit. It's actually touching the transmission right now. You can see from in here. That it's just, just touching on it. So I'll have to open that up just a little bit more. But, you know, it's going to be a very minor hump in the floor. So, uh, you know, that's good for leg room. So, uh, yeah, all good. Also... Uh, this cab's still got to come forward about an inch and a half yet, so it's going to be really close here. So I'm thinking right now the, the whole cab is that way too far. It's got to come this way. We're probably going to have to notch this out a little bit, kind of build it into this factory dimple here. 
<clears throat> and that factory dimple makes all kinds of room for my uh, distributor, which of course goes in right there. So uh, overall, not bad. Um, I really couldn't have brought the engine much more forward than I did. I mean, if I move these too much this way, I might have ended up interfering with my uh, Mustang II cross member, and I definitely don't want to do that. So I, I think we're, I think we're gold. We're good. Uh, I'm, I'm overall happy. Now back here, I got to move this stupid son of a bitch again. It'll be the fourth time now. Um, somebody wants it, let me know. I think it's a 235. I'm not sure. I'll have to run the numbers. But anyway, uh, it's in my way, of course, again. Uh, so I got to get this on jack stands, the rear of the frame. Get the wheels off. Cut the shocks off. Probably end up having to cut the U-bolts. Uh cut the torque tube the rest of that off and uh get all that crap out of here clean it up i got a box of frame rails so we got a, excuse me we have a ton of stuff to do um before i even get the rear end in place but uh yeah we got enough to keep us busy and it's nice and wide open here now and uh i increased the uh the lighting back here so i can see better so that's good and uh yeah we're gonna get after that Okay, so there you have it. Uh, you know, I didn't get as far as I wanted to, but uh, sometimes these little things take time. You know, a lot of grinding, a lot of welding, uh, stuff like that. Uh, cleaning up rust and, uh, you know, you spray with the, uh, you know, rust uh, converter. You gotta let that dry for a bit and stuff like that. Uh, hacking away at the, uh, the firewall was a pain in the ass. I mean, there was three layers of metal in some places this thing had been patch over patch over patch um so that was a bit of a bitch uh but you know now that it's uh the cab is sitting upright again the back is wide open and uh, everything is easy to get at and uh so you know we're gonna cut out uh, all kinds of crap uh muck it all out clean it up box in the rear frame rails and uh get the axle in that's next uh That'll be the next video. Uh, I've got to pick up some steel and a few other things to uh, to get out that back part. Uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm getting new subscribers almost every day. Uh, actually, every day, lately. And uh, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, tell a chum, tell a buddy, uh, you know, they'll tell a friend and so on and so forth. And uh, that's how this thing grows, man. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm counting on you guys to do it. Uh, oh, excuse me. I got to lift something here. Ah, there we go. It's getting late, about 1230. Uh, we got a major dumping of snow this week, too. So, uh, you know, ended up shoveling twice. So lost, uh, lost a few hours there. Uh, I do have my kids shoveling now, though. So uh, that saves me some time. And it's been cold, man. It was 25 below again this morning. So, uh, you know, this has got to break soon, man. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of winter and ready, ready for spring, man. I got spring fever. You know, open up the big doors, uh, get some air in here, blow it out, uh, throw out a ton of crap that's been collecting in here over the winter. You know, I just keep making little piles in the corners and on the benches and under the benches and all that shit's got to go. So, uh, as soon as I get to open up the big doors and start tossing this shit out. Clean her up and uh, get sorted and organized and uh, start making a brand new mess. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah. Check us out on Facebook. Uh, I don't post there as much as I used to. You know, a couple of progress pictures, maybe three, four posts a week. That's about it. I just don't have time to sit there and mess around with Facebook. Uh, so, but, you know. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I've got to. I've got to do some shopping, man. I got to pick up a bunch of stuff. You know, we're getting to the point where the chassis is going to be done soon, at least roughed in. Uh, then it'll be time to get going on body work. Uh, that's going to be ugly, man. I have been on the lookout for a donor cab, and I have one on the line, but uh, I'm going to have to run that by the uh, owner first and see what he wants to do. Um, if it's, I haven't seen the cab yet, but if it's decent, I mean, it can't be worse than this one. <laughs> I mean, this is crusty, man. If it's got 
at least some corners left uh anything you know something to build off of so uh yeah hopefully we can maybe go that route instead i think it'd save thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours in uh, labor so it might be the way to go uh, i'm probably going to go check that out later this week um see what that's all about uh what else yeah that's about it man so uh you know if you don't do anything else get out in the garage and build something man later guys